Hello, my name is Coach Tuke, and I'm the linebacker co-defensive coordinator of the Southern Illinois Salukis. We've been very fortunate to be the two-time defending gateway champions. In 2004, we were fortunate to be number one in scoring defense. Now, obviously, we've done that with a lot of very, very good players, but we've been able to get those good players to buy into our system and what we're doing. Today, I'd like to talk to you about zone pressure out of the 4-2-5. The reason I believe you got to be able to run some zone pressures, it causes some unique situations in offense. The number one reason is a receiver, as he's running his route, is seeing zone coverage. The quarterback, as he's dropping, is seeing pressure, okay, which normally goes with man-to-man. -man. So that causes a, a unique situation on the offense. The other thing is it's very good versus the run, and it's good versus the pass also. Okay, It's also uh, in a situation where you might want to run it. You're not sure um, whether it's run, pass. It's a, it's a very good uh, blitz zone pressure when you're not sure what the offense is thinking. What I'd like to start with is how we do it. When you zone pressure, you're either going to be a formation blitz or you're going to be a field or boundary zone pressure team. No matter how you spin it, you're going to pressure with five and you're going to cover with six. Okay? 99% of how we cover is with three deep, okay, and three underneath. So that's how we divide our six players up. It doesn't matter how or who becomes the five. Okay? Blitz them however you want. You can be as creative as you want, but you're going to cover with six guys in the end. Okay? Most of what we do is off of a field or a boundary concept. Okay, and then we do have some zone blitz based on the formation, which is what blitz the formation means, BTF. And what we do is we're going to give a boundary call, and, and what, uh, how we declare that is we would just give a rip call. All right, we would signal in right front, okay, and all of our zone blitzes come out of a G technique. All right, so the nose knows no matter what the call, I'm going to be in a G technique. So the Sam's going to be here, the Mike's going to be here. We will line up in a two deep shell. Okay, so our strong safety will be here. Our free safety and our weak safety will line up like halves. So pre-snap, this is what we want to look like to the quarterback and to the offense and to the you know, offensive coaches in the press box. Okay, the most common call we have is, is, or blitz we have is Florida. Okay, and it, it really should be called the NCAA zone blitz because almost everybody does it. Then we would, after that, give a coverage, which is Louie or Rango. So this example of this call would be right Florida, okay, Lingo or uh, Louie. This is to the boundary, so we're going to bring pressure from the field. Okay? What this end is going to do here, call side end, okay, ball snap, he's coming here, check and run or pass. Both backs away, okay, and with two backs in the backfield, you're going to be slower. You're not going to run out of here when you've got two backs. Okay? If they run a hitch or something like that, you're, you're just going to be running to it late anyway. Because if they do run the ball, all right, then you could be an overlap defender this way because he's going to be fast to go and he run here. Now you could be the overlap player and take our weak safeties position. If pass shows, you're going to cross over run three steps and your eyes are going to get back on the quarterback. You're going to set when he sets and you're going to vision and break the football. When that ball's thrown, you better be able to be in set and break on the ball. Now our tackle, okay, he will be our quarterback in Tain. His technique is just like the text I covered in the stunt. He's aiming at the tackle. 
If the hip is at him, he's going to cross face. If hits out here, we're going to take it through B gap. But he's quarterback contained, so he needs to get outside. This nose is opposite A, so he's going to cross face to the center. Now our end here is a long slant. He's going to come down and he's going hard down into A gap. He's going to try to collapse this thing and open it up outside. Now there's, there's several coaching points about our defensive linemen. You must cross all down blocks. Okay, if they down you, you can't get seen because if you get a, the nose cut off and the tackle outside, that obviously creates a big lane in there. The other thing, coaching point, is don't let them cheat their shades. If this nose starts to squeeze the center or this tackle starts to widen out, those offensive guys are coaching too. They're going to see that on video, be able to pick it up and call their protection based off your shades. We're going to rock the strong safety, and we're bringing him off the edge, okay? And he's got smoke rules, meaning backs away, okay? You're the quarterback player for the boot. We're going to bring the mic. We're going to roll him down into B-gap. He's the B-gap blitzer. He's the C-gap blitzer. He must come underneath any and all blocks. So if someone shows up to block the mic, he must come underneath because he knows he's got a blitzer outside of him. If they slide protect, take a back off the edge, and he were to come out, one guy could initially block two. So that's very critical with him. Now we obviously have six defenders left to defend the pass. We have our end, okay, our Sam, free, weak, and the two corners. Okay, and we're going to play a three under three deep. The Louie takes a rotation down in here. And what he's going to do is he's going hot to two. This would be number two. This would be number one. Number one, two's in the backfield. So he's hot to two also. Now the Sam, he's going to drop over three where three's in the backfield. So now we have our three under defenders. And the, and the coaching point with those underneath droppers is if I'm sitting here and I'm dropping hot to two here, okay, if that quarterback's not looking to throw it hot, then I'm going to pack it back, okay? And then that way when a quarterback takes his hand off, we can get a good break on the ball. But we're going to drop down inside of number two. When he's at a tight end, it may be hard to get down inside, okay, but we're going to be close. Certainly if he's displaced, we would rock down inside of two. Our corner, okay, are going to play dividers. Two yards on top of the numbers, okay, they're deep third. Our free safety is going to roll the post, meaning he's the deep third. He's going to get near the goal post, crossover run, get in the deep back pedal, deep as the deepest. And then we're going to break on the ball. Now there's several coaching points to different formations with the same call, but they tie into all of our zone blitzes. So with the same call, but you get a different formation, let's say they happen to put some type of twins look into the boundary. We're still going to make a right Florida Louis. That's the call, same call. So we'd line up like this. So again, we look like we're playing too high. Now, the end knows how to drop every single time based off the sand. So regardless, the end doesn't know if he's dropping outside or inside. It's all based off the Sam's call. So every time, the Sam's going to tell him. Anytime there's two displaced weak, we have concerns about dropping an end out here to cover the two. So what we will do is we will switch his drop from a number two drop to a number three drop, meaning these two guys will switch responsibilities. All right, so he will give an indie call. Ohio, Ohio, 
will be like the first diagram. He's crossover running. Indy, Indy, he's coming down under over the ball. Here's number three. So you got one, two, three, one, two. So we got Indy call. So he's going to wiggle to cover down. He's hot to two. Meaning if they try to throw it, he's hot on that. He doesn't look right now. He's going to pack it back, get vision and break on the football. Now, because of the Indy call, he's going to drop down inside. Dropping off this guy. Quarterback contain. Long slant here. All right, bringing off the edge. Bringing the same blitz. Now we're dropping here with the Louie. Roll the post here. Divider, divider. Okay, so now we got two, three, two. And that's all we're doing is by giving them numbers is we're, we're giving them an area to look to drop at first in case of the hop. This way it allows an end not to have to play a, a, out on space because even if they would throw it out here, he may not be as better tackler as he is. This way he can see the ball thrown and be able to help. Now, if we wanted to, to change this blitz a little bit, we could add a swap call. Swap is interchangeable with every single zone blitz we have. If I give a swap call, all that's saying is the two blitzers that are coming are going to switch responsibilities. So these guys are not changing. Got an, Indy, or an, out, or an Ohio call here. Okay. Still dropping over number three. Still running a Louie. Okay, so he's hot to two, three, hot to two, roll a post. You got dividers by the corners. Okay, now the difference is a lot of times people that, um, uh, an easy answer for them versus a zone blitz is just to slide everything. Bring everybody this way, release him, and block a guy off the gap. Well. And that, if we just run Florida, that could get that protected. With a, with a swap, we're going to come here and we're coming down. Now, he is the B-gap blitzer. So when he comes hard off the edge, it's, it's flat and down inside. Then the mic is rolling outside for quarterback contain. And if they were to run the ball, he would be the chase player on the zone, on the boot, this linebacker would be quarterback contained. That's Florida swap. And again, swap could be used with in all of our zone blitzes, all right, for switching these two guys' responsibility. Nothing changes with everything. You still got the Indian Ohio's and nothing changes. It's just we're adding a swap, okay? And then that, that gives you like a whole nother zone blitz, even though it doesn't change but two people. The next zone blitz I'd like to talk about is Miami. Secondary-wise, it's still going to be terminology the same. So it, it's still going to be a Ringo or a Louie. We'll still make the, the strength call up front the same. So this would be a right Miami Louie. So he's going to be in a G like all zone blitzes. This is a rip call. Now, everybody's on the defensive line's position doesn't change. Your responsibility stays the same except the wayside end. Still going to get Ohio here because there's no two displaced weak. Okay, but the difference is the end is going to jet up the field. Now we're going to bring Mike down into A gap and bring the safety, the strong safety down into B gap. Obviously, he understands that anything come to, to, to block you, you have to come underneath because you have help outside. But in the secondary, it's no different than Louie, uh, Florida Louie. You're going to come, hot to two, 
dividers, roll the post, drop off number three. If, as an example here, if they were to flare and bring this guy outside, he would work to three, let him go, new three come in, vision and break the football, okay? Ball sewn, you break on it. You don't want to jump routes, you want to jump the quarterback's arm. So that would be an example, right, Miami, Louis. No different if I said, okay, let's mix it. Miami's been successful a couple of times. Let's go ahead and swap it. Miami swap, there's no different than Miami except for these two guys. Now he's coming hard down inside. Now I'm coming outside for the B gap. We are both chase players, so if they were to run the zone play, okay, we would chase, we would chase. He's now quarterback contained. Now the other example uh, that we have field and boundary stuff is based off of bringing the two inside linebackers. That's called Bama and Alaska. Bama's got a B and an A. Alaska's got two A's in there, so this is, this is what we're doing. It would still be a boundary call here if we wanted to run. Wouldn't have to be, okay, but we like it to the boundary, or bringing it from the field, setting it into the boundary. If we call right Bama, okay, and then the, the coverage, because we're not bringing a safety, we have a new term for it. It's going to be Rambo or Lasso. This scenario, bringing it here, okay, we would run a Rambo. No different there than Florida and Miami's, okay? No different here, no different there. No different here, all right, than on the Miami where the guy's coming out. Now, the difference is the Sam and the Mike are your blitzers. The Mike is the number one blitzer, the Sam's the number two blitzer. So he has the B gap, okay, and he has the A gap. So they're bringing them both to that side. Obviously, we could easily swap this, bring the Mike into A, bring the Sam here, but the Mike is going to be the first one going. Now, the reason you got to understand if you're the number two blitzer here is because on two backs, if they were to be in two backs, you could have a readout possibility. If there's one back, there's no readout. You're going to this A gap no matter what. But two gaps, if they run flow that way, I don't want you running here, I want you to be able to read out of it. Now coverage wise, still gonna be three under, three deep. Okay. Now we're Ramboing, okay? He's hot to two. He's down over number three, and he's hot to two. Now the weak safety is the one that's responsible for telling the end whether he's in Ohio or whether he's an indie drop because the same scenario could happen to displaced receivers weak. Okay, so instead of dropping the end out here, he would give him an indie call. Now he's dropping over three. Okay, now I'm dropping hot to two. Roll the post. Divider, divider. So I got two, three, two. All, it, all we're going to do is just rotate in the secondary. Again, vision and break and pack it back is what you want to do, or the coaching points to those. The difference in Bama is we're running A gaps.
So if you got two by two, it's going to be an Indy call here, okay? But on Alaska, instead of the nose coming here, those are still the same, okay? He's also going away from the call. So now the Sam and the Mike are now your A-gap blitzers. He gave him an indie call here, so he's the number three dropper. This also would be easy to run a swap. We can run the Mike first, the Sam second. Again, he's always first, he's always second. He has a readout in case there is two back. No two back, there's no way they could get me out of blitz and I'm bringing it. Now, the one uh, BTF zone blitz we have, meaning blitz the formation, is Tennessee. We run it with trio. So we're going to go ahead and read the formation, the passing streak with the, the DBs, and they'll, they'll base off the passing strength. We're going to, again, line up the very similar way. Showing two deep. But now we're, we're basing it off of a front. So an example of a Tennessee blitz, I could run tight G Tennessee. I can run any type of, of front, but we're basically wanting to blitz to the strength, run strength of the formation. So if I gave a tight G Tennessee, this is how it would look. So now, we have our five going. So our Sam's uh, blitzing on the Tennessee, our 4D linemen are, that's our four. Now, we got these six left, then we're going to rotate very similar to how we did in Alaska or Bama, okay? But we call this trio. So now, he knows he's Hot to two. There is no number three drop. There's no communication because none of the defensive linemen are dropping out. So they're, they're not covering. So right here, he's hot to two. Now the mic, okay, is now your number three dropper. Roll the uh, dividers, roll the post. So nothing would change here if, let's say, the tight end's on the other side. Where they're in a, a trips type of formation. We're still read the strength over here, so we're going to look the same in the back end. There's a strong, the corner, the free, the weak safety, the corner. Okay? We go tight, Tennessee. It would look like this, and we'd run it. Okay? Now, no two weak. Now, where's number three for the mic? He's right here with number three. So now he's going to drop to cover three, doesn't look to throw him right away, then he's going to pack it back. Two's in the backfield, he would come down. Hop the two. Dividers. No different there. If you felt concerned, you could drop the free down over number three, roll the safety here, and drop the mic off too. But this is the standard way we drop it. This is Tennessee Trio to a trips look. Hot to two, three, hot to two. These are the zone blitzes that we run. What I'd like to do is to show you some video. And again, it's not an example of every single one because you have the X and O part. It's more about teaching the technique and getting those players bought into what you're trying to do and get them to understand 
uh, what you're doing with this blitz, what the weaknesses are, and coaching them to vision and break the football. All right, here's an example on tape of Florida. This is a linebacker and a safety off an edge. So this would be a right Florida Louie. Okay, so we're bringing him down, him across, him contained. We're going to drop him out. Okay, we're going to bring him off an edge, bring him down through B gap. We're going to rock the safety down, roll here, deep third, deep third. Because of the two receivers that are displaced wide, the Sam would not give him an Ohio call. He would give him an Indy call. So he would need to drop here over number three, which is in your backfield. The linebacker would then replace, drop hot to two on number two, displaced weak. So right there, we're dropping the safety down. Try to work inside number two. Collision if you can, but don't chase because it's important that you see the ball thrown. He's dropping here to cover in case this is thrown right now to number two. If it's not, then he would need to pack it back. It's a good job dropping in over number three. And then we all got to see the ball thrown and cover. Now, like I said, with swap, it'll change the blitz. So this is no different than a right Florida swap Louie. Okay, so we're going to bring this safety and this linebacker. We're going to slant the line this way because there's no two weak. This would be an Ohio call. Except now this strong safety is going to blitz hard and tight off the edge. And what that's doing is with the slide protection here, it's going to force this quarterback to escape out. We're trying to spill the quarterback out of the pocket. And then wrapping the, court, the uh, linebacker there for containing the quarterback. So this is a good drop. He's dropping outside, his hands on, or eyes on the quarterback, being able to play either way. It's a good job. Or I'm sorry, this is actually a, a poor job. You don't want to try and stop your feet and collision that receiver. Okay, because right here is where you need to drop. Here's number one, here's number two, here's number three, which is he's dropping. So now the new three is turning this guy. So he should just work with it and break on the football. It's a good job. That hip's not away from him, so he's got to work outside for contain. It's a good job of not giving the blitz out. Getting outside, trying to force a quarterback. This is a nice job of getting flat. Don't chase the guard. If he's, if he's down hard inside, get it back vertical. Now here's a Miami. So it's still a linebacker and a safety, except we're going to go ahead and bring the linebacker and the safety up inside the end. So this would be a left. Miami, Ringo. So that we're going to jet the end up the field. These three guys are the same. Notice two displaced weak. He's going to give him an Ohio call to drop out. Again, we're going to try and show pre-snap Ohio. Except now he's up the field, and we're going to bring these two guys up inside. Now, this is a good job of everything but catching the football. He's got vision of breaking the ball. Everything's good, but he ends up dropping this. This is not a good play. This is not a pass breakup. This is a critical error. He's got to be able to catch that. And because of this, we, we do a, a ball drills with all 11 of our players because you're going to have to be able to catch the football at our place if you're a defensive end. This is a much better job of dropping off a number three. He's not chasing, vision and break. If they had tried to throw right here, he probably would have been able to make a play on the football. Bama. Okay. Right here we got a right 
Bama, Rambo. So on the snap, we're going to slant out, slant out, bring the two linebackers up in A and B. The weak safety went ahead and told the defensive end, 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 because there's two displaced weak. Now he's going to drop hot to two. He probably looked to try to collision a little too much. Again, we're more concerned about breaking on the football than we are rerouting that receiver. If he's there, sure, get your hands on him. Now, this is a good job of number 42 of going outside the block because he knows, hey, I have help inside of me. I'm going to go outside any blocks. Number three knows, hey, anybody comes to block me, I'm going to go inside a block because of what I have. Now, pad level and technique, he's way too high. He needs to get his pads down. But this is a good job of the defensive end, breaking, quarterback breaking Tane and defensive end pulling out of coverage. This would be a uh, left Bama lasso. Okay, right here we have trips. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and give him an Ohio call here. But because of the trips formation, we didn't want to go ahead and drop this guy off at number two. We could do it either way, but we decided to squat the safety on number three. Roll the weak safety to the post. Divider, divider. Hot to two, three, hot to two. Two's in the backfield. He should work to squeeze with two. Here's an Alaska. So being a right Alaska. Now, what he does here is he, because of the two displaced, he's going to go ahead and give him an indie call like we've shown, drop inside of two. Now, that's a better job of not trying to reroute two so hard you take yourself out of a play. Breaking the ball and you're right there should be an interception. He's number three. He's hot to two. But now we're up in A gaps. Now, Tennessee. This is our BTF formation. We're bringing it from the, the uh, strength of the formation. So right here we got a, a, a tight G Tennessee. It's a Liz call. So we're going to bring the Sam. Three techniques coming down inside. He's jetting up the field. Bringing him around to B gap. Jetting him up the field. He's your number three dropper, which is, this is number three. He's in the backfield. He's dropping over three. Make sure he doesn't jump it, pack it back. This is a good job of working hot to two. Hot to two, roll the post, divider, divider. Here's an empty set, meaning there's no backs in the backfield. And again, we don't have to change anything we're doing. We're still going to run the same thing. He's going to drop over two. He's going to drop over number three. It's just now three's not in the backfield. Okay? So he's, he's got to drop over number three. Okay? This is a, a much better job. This is a great example of hot, no hot, pack it back. If he's looking to throw it to number three, he can make a play. Because he's not, he's packing it back. Good vision and break there. That's a nice job. We're running out of a 50 look here. It doesn't matter what type of front. He's still a gap player. He's opposite B. He's jet and he's jet. It doesn't matter where you line up. It's get where needed. You're needed here. You're needed here. You're needed right there. Just switching up the gaps a little better. None of these uh, zone blitz concepts are uh, 
you know, new or brilliant or anything like that. It's all the stuff that we borrowed from other guys. You know, I think the thing about it is it's not who you're bringing and all those type of things. It's the technique you're teaching those D linemen and those droppers. I hope you've enjoyed what we've had to share with you today, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.